<laughs> if you think for a second that crazy California couldn't get any crazier ran by a complete clown, Gavin Newsom, well, guess what? It just got a little better. Hey, everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. You know who's not doing great? People in California because they're uh, led by a uh, moron. Or is he a moron? Really, if you think about it, this is actually pretty brilliant. And actually, I can't even blame Gavin Newsom because there's all kinds of tools running the state over there in the state legislature. Check out this story. Out of CNBC, Google is removing links to California news websites as part of test in response to pending litigation. Why would Google be taking links to news sites to go to California down? Oh, it gets even better. Hey, first off, let me ask, just, just do this. Do, because I know there are a lot of amazing people in California that actually follow this channel that have really good heads on their shoulders. The problem is the state is ran by a handful of tools and about you know 10% of a bunch of whining people that need safe spaces in the state. Honestly, uh, type one or hashtag California if you're from California and you're not a nutball. I mean, truthfully, there's tons of you. I, I know it. I, I see the analytics. You guys are awesome. We're talking about the nutballs. So, uh, hey, hashtag nutball if you're a nutball. And, and actually, uh, this probably isn't the channel for you if you're on, on that side of the spectrum in California says Google will re be removing links to California news websites from search results from some Californians uh, for some Californians in response to a bill that would require online ad company companies to pay a fee for connecting state residents to news sources you know because California is actually broke I know they don't like talking about that they're running into a massive deficit this is the eighth biggest uh, economy on earth and so they still think they're awesome, but they are broke and they want money everywhere. They want to reach into everybody's pocket and grab money, okay? So that's going to be at the detriment of uh, you being able to get news now. It says here, in a blog post on Friday announcing the short-term test, um, Google's vice president of Global News Partnership said the bill called the California Journalism Prevention Act. Isn't that... It's, Man, that just makes you so, look at, they're just trying to prevent, they're just trying to preserve journalism. They just want to preserve it. No, actually, they know what they're doing. They want to destroy it. Why? Because if they get their grubby little hands on the money, then you don't get the news. Because news agencies are like, seriously, what, what are we doing here? We have to make money, and now California wants more money for us just sharing the news to Californians. This is crazy. So they make it sound really nice. So the, the California Journalism Prevention Act represents the wrong approach to supporting journalism. This is from the vice president of Google and would create a level of business uncertainty that no company could accept. The bill was introduced last year and remains pending in state legislature. Google's announcement marks the latest dramatic change in how large internet platforms handle news. Facebook parent Meta has been retreating from the news business and said in September that it would depreciate its Facebook news tab in European countries, including the UK, France, and Germany, as part of an ongoing effort to better align our investments to our products and services people value the most. Actually, it's just becoming a little bit harder to get the news. The recent developments... Oh, wait, hold on. Also last year, Meta banned... Canadian users from sharing news on its apps after can Canada's federal government passed the Online News Act, which forced tech companies to pay content fees to domestic media outlets. You see, I want to stop real quick here. Between Justin Trudeau and his brother Gavin Newsom, I'll put, put those two faces together, uh, you have got a situation where they understand that if they do this, the big social media companies will pull out and stop sharing the news. See, what they're really afraid of is the social media is really taking the news and blowing it out to the masses, and it's harder and harder for CNBC, MSNBC, CNN, Fox News, and all those others, like NPR, to control the narrative. I found it my mission to do this kind of stuff. 
Now, the recent developments have upended many online publishers that count on Facebook and Google for traffic and are particularly painful for publications that rely on advertising revenue. Google also said Friday it's pausing further investments in the California news ecosystem, including new partnerships through Google News Showcase, our product and licensing program for news organizations and planned expansions of the Google News Initiative. Hey, Google, are you going to let me put this video out? Just curious. Here, real quick, test. Hashtag California if you're from California. Let's see if this gets out to you guys. See, I guess, I don't know if I'm risking anything or not. Supporters of the California bill, they're all tools, say it will help news publishers. It's gonna help. This is, we're gonna back up journalism so much, you're not gonna know where my hand starts or where your mouth ends. I, don't, I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna pretty much speak for you. That's what these crazy people think. But really what it's gonna do, it's gonna hinder germ journalism because a lot of country, companies and other states are gonna go, are you, you guys are straight up crazy. Now you're gonna charge us to share news into your state? Holy cow. So it says here, it says it will help news publishers receive a fair chunk of the ad profits reaped by tech juggernauts like Apple, Google, and Meta. See, this is all a money grab by the state of California. But some critics within the journalism industry worry the bill will foster a compensation ecosystem favoring larger, more resource newsrooms over their small counters. Like the ninja just said that. Now you all know that I don't read these stories before. I'm pretty much like reading them with you. Hey guys, it's nap time. Everybody, all the great patriots lay down and let's try and take a nap and I'm gonna read you a story. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and put you to sleep. But within about 60 seconds, you're all gonna be pissed off because the country's going to crap in a handbasket. That's really what's happening. Google has previously opposed similar media payment measures abroad, including in Spain, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. I mean, I think all of those are pretty much like going communist right now. But the company has ultimately acquiesced to the rules. Did I even pronounce that word right? You know, look, here's the truth. You don't gotta be that bright to figure out what's going on here, okay? California's trying to corner every market in the world, trying to steal money from everybody, trying to run the nation and send all of its crazy people out there. Now, I'm not a crazy person. I'm actually pretty darn cool, I gotta be honest with you. And there are a lot of people in California that are just like me, that actually like freedom seeds and pew pews, and they, they don't wanna get overtaxed. They don't wanna see the government uh, tell them what to do, tell them how much they gotta pay their employees, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Good news is a lot of the taxpayers are leaving California. California is going into a, a massive deficit hole and it's going to be cash grabbing as much as it can. I'm actually quite frankly scared for Californians that they're gonna actually at one point pass a law that no matter where you leave the state and go to in the country, that they can still tax you. And if you think for a second that that's pretty far off and they can't do it, just imagine this. There are two countries on earth that have the right and do tax their citizens wherever they move on earth. Fun little tip. One of them's America. You have to denounce your citizenship before you get to walk away from the IRS. And the second country, it's like the smallest country in Africa. Guys, put it down below if you know which one that is. Hope you got something out of this. I did. That's why I left. Ninja is out.